This is the example video for face plane portraits. For number one, we want to sketch the half line solutions and approximate solutions in each region. Um, we're going to use arrows to indicate the direction of motion. We want to classify the solution. And we're given the solution um, y of t equals c1 e to the t times the vector negative 1, negative 2, plus c2 e to the 2t times the vector 3, negative 1. So since we um, the two eigenvalues are the coefficients of the t's on um, our exponential, and we can see we have a positive uh, uh, two positive eigenvalues, so this is going to be a nodal source. And um, we can see that this is a um, greater eigenvalue, it's more positive. So as we go to infinity, um, solutions are going to become parallel to this. Um, and soon, or as we go back in time to negative infinity, solutions are going to be parallel to this. So if we first graph these vectors. Um, so if we graph V1, <clears throat> and we can draw our label our axes Y1 and Y2. Um, we draw V1, um, which is negative 2, or negative 1, negative 2, so that's going to be out here. And then we can draw V2, which is 3, negative 1, so that's right here. And we can extend these half lines out. And we'll extend these half lines out. Uh, since this is a nodal source, um, things are going to be going out from the half lines, or out from zero. And since we said this is the more positive eigenvalue as t approaches infinity, we're going to be parallel to v2. So, um, we're going to move out to v2 as we go to infinity. And that looks like this. We're starting out parallel to v1 and moving parallel to v2. And same here. And that is it. Um, so then we have the same instructions for number two. So for number two, we have a positive and negative eigenvalue. So we know this is going to be a saddle. And let's go ahead and draw the eigenvectors. Negative five, positive two. So that's out here. And we can just extend that right away. And then we have negative 1, positive 4. And um, we know that along the negative eigenvalues, eigenvector, we'll be moving um, in towards uh, towards the equilibrium point, so in towards the center. And along the positive eigenvalue, um, along the corresponding eigenvector, we'll be moving out towards infinity, away from equilibrium. And then the solutions in each region will start at V1 and go to V2. As time goes on.